Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's going to be a quick little oracle read. All right, you feel me? It's going to be a quick little uh, oracle read on what is the uh, reason behind Karmic's cyberstock in your social media accounts. All right, so it's going to be a very quick um, little message. Okay, it's going to be jam packed with downloads and information and all that good thing. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first, right off the motherfucking bat, right? So we could clearly see here that um, for you divines, some of the uh, zodiac signs here, this uh, shows the people that uh, could be behind these porn bot accounts, these burner accounts, you know, these accounts that are watching your stories um, or, or maybe making a weird uh, bot comments under your uh, videos if you guys uh, do any type of like content creating or have a business uh, um, online, a business social media page. Okay, um, so we have Virgo, we have Scorpio, we have Leo. So some of these people could be Virgo, Scorpio, Leo. We also have Mars. Mars is ruled under uh, Scorpio. Okay, uh, and also Aries. Okay, so you could have somebody that may have a Mars in Aries or a Mars in Scorpio. You could be dealing with uh, Aries or a Leo. And the first card that came out was uh, the Virgo. Okay. So this is a person that has, that feels like they have you down to every detail, or at least that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to organize details. Okay. Because this is a card of, of being analytical and looking at every single detail. Correct. So this person is trying to piece together or these group of people, because I'm definitely feeling it's a group thing. Uh, it's definitely a group of people that are trying to piece together uh, your life with the little things that you, um, the uh, ads that you post, the videos, whatever content that you're posting, uh, whether you're doing music, podcasting, um, anything, you know what I'm saying? Like they're trying to piece together your life through that, through watching uh, your stories, whatever that you might be sharing there. Okay, this person, I'm showing this person wants to take action um, right now, or there's, or I, what else I'm getting is that you have moved on from them. You have took action and moved, you know, you cut them out of your life and you moved forward. You know what I'm saying? All right. But this is also kind of like a call, not just a call to action, but kind of like, I feel like this person may eventually try to um, declare war. Okay declare some type of war or decide they want to spar with you all of a sudden. Okay. This person will come out the cut. All right. This person is under, this is about investigate. Okay. So this person has been spying on your, on your social media for some time using accounts after accounts. The more you block them, the more they keep fucking making them. Okay. It's just like the fucking uh, Chucky doll factory. You kill one Chucky and they just keep making the motherfuckers over and over and over and over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? So, this person has been in the cut, okay, um, and they have been, uh, they are really obsessed with you uh, finding out something about them, expressing some type of secret. They also fear your shine. They also do not want you, because uh, this is a card of Leo. This is ruled by the sun, right? So they don't want you to to, um, to shine like the sun, okay? They don't want you to shine like the sun. Um, and on top of that, <clears throat> the sun talks about fame and notoriety okay they starting to see that people are seeing you for you know the true sun or star uh that you are and so they um are trying to dim your shine here with this card this is what they're after okay um and so they're trying to figure out uh you know the source of your expression your creativity because this also covers creativity, fame, beauty, the arts. So you guys could be very much in those uh, fields of business. You guys could be in the field of beauty. Like I said, any type of art, you know, music, dancing, whatever the case is. Uh, so that's what they've been watching you guys do. They like to watch a lot of that content. Okay. Uh, they are trying to, um, find out where you get your inspiration from. They're trying to find out where do you get your information from. If you're a person who teaches online, you do lectures or whatever, they're trying to figure out where does this person get the information. I'm also getting an energy where they're following whoever that you're following. Okay. So just be careful how you leave a foot, how you leave a footprint. I mean, I don't think most of y'all really care like that, but it's like, um, try, I guess I would say, uh, be cryptic in what you say 
or whatever because I feel like they follow the same people that you follow and they trying to look at comments to see if you're going to expose them for what they've done. Now, all of these actions are just basically about guilt, okay? They feel guilty for what they've done. So they do not want their, everything is about image for these people. You feel me? So they don't want their image to be destroyed, okay? So even if you, you're not really dropping names, but you're sharing your story and you're, you're, you know, you're in the comment section and you're expressing yourself, they want to dim that, okay? So don't be surprised if a troll account come and try to argue with you or try to gaslight you about something. That could be that person that you was fucking talking about, okay? Okay? I'm just, I'm just giving y'all a little game. Those could be the same people that do you how they do you. And then when they see you comment about it, they feel so guilty. And so they want to gaslight you. And so they make these burner accounts to try to gaslight you under those same accounts. You feel me? And, they, and they'll be the main ones saying, well, maybe that's not what it is. And da 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 You know, they're going to try to like, you know, gaslight you or try to encourage you to give that person another chance. So really pay attention to these accounts. Click on their motherfucking accounts to see how long their ass has been up on there. Okay? You're going to find out. All right. So anyway, they're after your soul because your soul glows. OK, they're after your son. OK, this is the, the like I said, just like the uh, Leo card here. All right. They're trying to dim your shine in any way possible. Solar plexus attack. They, they have a problem with the way how you express yourself, how powerful you are, that people are starting to admire you. People are starting to notice you. People that they want to notice them are starting to notice you. You feel me? They um, love your creativity. They love how you how you speak, how you present your material. They um, love everything about you. They love how innovative you are, how creative you are, and they they definitely do see that potential. They've been trying to silence that potential for a long time. Okay, with the sun card. So this is source. Like you are source. Okay, so the source of your power. That's what they're trying to. That's what they're trying to separate. That's what they're trying to separate away from you. This is about separating the weed from the shaft. They're trying to separate from that and they want to, they want that power for themselves. Okay. There's a power in your sword and they want to use that. Okay. To wage war against you. Okay. All right. That's why they have been investigating. They've been sending other people to, to watch your pages. Again, this could be a, uh, a Virgo, this could be a Scorpio, this could be a Leo or Aries, or these um, zodiac signs may have a Mars sign in uh, Aries or Scorpio, okay? All right, so yes, they're after your sun, and then you have nine. It adds up to nine for that number there, so it's like they want to end, they want to put an end to your expression. They want to stop you from expressing yourself, okay? They want to stop, they feel like you're going to expose them, okay? Because, like I said, they are very uh, image-driven, reputation-driven, okay? And they know that you know the truth about them, okay? And you guys have been expressing yourself, maybe through, you know, music, through podcasts, through, you know, um, you know, vlogging, blogging. Um, you guys may have even wrote a book about what you've gone through and they, they have a problem with it because now you are, you're helping other people that have went through the same thing that you're going through and you guys are slowly but surely building your soul army. I definitely do see that. Okay. So then we got the eighth house mystery. Okay. This is about uncovering mysteries, uncovering secrets. See, this is what I'm talking about. They're trying to, they've been attacking your solar plexus to stop you from expressing, creatively expressing, uh, your content in a way so that you're exposing who they are. Okay. They want to keep, they know that, you know, things that are hidden. They know how they know that you have uncovered the truth through your downloads, through your dreams, through your, your actual, you know, accounts with being around them. You have the truth. The truth is your leverage. Okay. You also have spiritual leverage over these people. Okay. They can never, this, this is your source, your light. They've been after your light for a very long time. And now they become obsessive with trying to end your light. Okay. Lights out. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to have lights out on your solar plexus. Okay. They want your soul. All right. Because they already done sold they soul. All right. Now they want your soul. Okay. So when the eighth house is in a reverse here, some of you guys can have strong uh, eighth house stellium placements. Okay. Y'all can be eighth house folks. Shout out to my eighth house folks. But yeah, people fear what you know. Okay. And what you could express. Okay, they fear your star power, or I should say sun power, your solar power. Okay, 
and and the fact that you guys understand what's hidden okay you guys have leverage over them physical and spiritual leverage they're also trying to stop you from reaching your pinnacle of success okay they're, start, they're trying to stop you from reaching completion okay you have closed out the cycle with them nine we got nine right here you closed out a karmic cycle uh with them and moved on and they figure what are you going to do with all of this what do you know and what are you going to do with what you know okay also the last card here shows that they this is a, this card is about first impressions they want to change the way they they don't want they're, this is about image as well too like how you present yourself to the world they are also stalking you because they want to change the perception of how you look to everybody else because they have dragged your character they have uh, done endless smear campaigns all over the years you guys know i talk about this a lot they've been doing this shit for a very very long long time and now people are starting to see the opposite okay Okay, now people are starting to see the opposite. And as you reach your pinnacle of success, as you reach your peak in your spiritual journey and in life in general, people are you're starting to get the better first impression. Your start your self image has been improving, and it's improved because you stopped trying to um, make a dollar out of fifteen cents. Spirit said you you stopped trying to convince people that you was this good person. Da da da. You just let people do what they do. And you continue doing what you need to do as a person, okay? You start zeroing on yourself. So they're trying to control the narrative. When I see the first house upright, it's like they're trying to control the narrative, okay? They're trying to uh, control the narrative so that they can look like they're a good person to everybody else. But you know that they're not. And they want to stop you from exposing that to everybody. But um, Spirit says to let them unravel themselves, okay? As your light shines brighter, it's lights out for them, Okay? Whatever they're trying to silence you about, secrets or whatever, it's going to be exposed anyway. It's being exposed through their actions and through their desperation of trying to find find out what you're doing, trying to watch what you're doing. They're trying to convince themselves. I feel like a lot of them, a lot of them stay up all night trying to convince themselves that they were justified in mistreating you. They know that they were wrong. You feel me? So they're trying to change the perception of how you're looking, and they're trying to maintain their self in their self image and their self reputation, how they present to the world. Because it's going to be hard to try to push yourself out to be a certain person when this person got the spiritual tea on you. You feel me? They got physical tea on you. They got spiritual tea on you. Okay. Why? If if this person is truly who you said they were, then why are you stopping them? If this person is the bad guy, if the divine is the bad guy. And they did all this shit that you said that they did. Then why the fuck are you stopping them? Why are you on their social media? What you think that the divine is going to say is what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? So it's really about them not succeeding at dimming your light after all. And I feel like they've been doing this to you guys since childhood. Some of y'all since birth. Some of y'all could have been in the recent couple of years. You've just been noticing that people have been trying to dim your shine and trying to make you feel bad about who you were or whatever. So you had to do some introspection. You learned about yourself. You became a lion. <laughs> you feel me? You started expressing yourself. You started expressing your art. You started finding positive outlets. You started alchemizing all of the all of the shit that they thrown at you. You started alchemizing that shit. And you turned that shit into gold, liquid gold, okay? So that's what that's what you guys have done. And now you guys are shining. You guys are are finally healing and finally like finding a way to like basically finding a creative outlet and i feel like it's it's working very very well for you and it's going to help you to to reach your pinnacle of success and it's going to ultimately um you i feel like okay you remember that um audio book that i suggested for you guys uh what's it called psycho cybernetics and it was a book about how to change your self-image that you don't have to be the image that you were in your past, that you can constantly reinvent yourself. So if you guys have a chance, take a listen uh, to uh, Psycho Cybernetics. I forgot who the author is, but shout out to the author. I'm sorry, forgot your name, but um, uh, you know, watch that. Uh, listen to the audio book. It's actually an audio book. So listen to that audio book and you'll, you'll understand what I'm saying, okay? Because they've been trying to dub you as a certain type of person. And now it's, it's not, it's, it's really not giving that. Okay. Your, your first house, your, your image, this is like your rising sign, how people view you. People are changing how they view you. Okay. Because the energy doesn't lie. You could lie in front for a long time, but the energy doesn't lie. You understand what I'm saying? So anyhow, I'm going to get up off this uh, video. I will be posting this also in uh, my blog as well. 
this message was for the uh, collective. I hope the audio didn't fuck up because, you know, I feel like my phone has been attacked, but I put some camphor oil on my phone, so it's all good. It's all good. The message is still going to get out there. Nobody's going to silence me. It is what the fuck it is, okay? So, yeah, this is for anybody that's going through any type of... um you know, uh, cyber stalking, gang stalking, uh, cyber bullying or anything of that uh, nature, whether it's, you know, minor or too severe. Okay. This is, if you want to know, this is the reason why they've been coming at you because you're a lot more than you realized. And, and now you know who you are now. And now that you know who you are, there's nothing stopping you from reaching all the way to the top as you do deserve. Okay. Watch them unravel. They will unravel themselves. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not interested in exposing anyone. That's why I feel like this is also in reverse. But that's their main concern because they've been fraudulent their whole lives, okay? <laughs> so, you know, they they care about how people view them. They care about, you know what I'm saying? And I also feel like they're trying to stop your debut into the world. Spirit says you were born to shine. You were born to be recognized, okay? And they've been trying to stop you for it for many lifetimes, Okay, you have past life shit with these people. Many lifetimes they've been trying to stop you. And they've been trying to stop your debut into the world. Okay, out in public. You deserve to be seen.